Can the deep actually speak to sea creatures or is it all just in his head? The Boys has his fair share of characters dealing with some sort of psychosis. Butcher has Kessler and Becca. Homelander has different versions of himself when he looks in the mirror. And my personal favorite, Black Noir and his cartoon friends. But what if the deep is also a part of this group and his psychosis involves speaking to sea creatures? Before I get into it, it is undeniable that the Deep has an extraordinary ability to control sea creatures, so it's safe to assume that he is capable of some sort of communication with them, but that does not necessarily mean that he is capable of having in-depth conversations with them, and that's the kind of communication that my theory is about. I want to start with Ambrosius, a fan favorite. It's interesting to me that despite being kept in a closet by the Deep, not only was she somehow still able to know who Sage was, but she even had a better grasp of her true motives than the Deep himself. Now having a better understanding of things than the Deep is no tall task, but I gotta ask, how? It's almost as if the things Ambrosius is saying are just the Deep's own inner thoughts. I also have to add that regardless if this theory is true or not, the Deep keeping Ambrosius locked in the closet as she pleads to be let out is a great allegory for the Deep's current situation and how he has to manage his true intentions and emotions. I've also noticed that whenever we see the Deep having conversations with sea creatures, he's usually in some sort of distress. When he speaks to the dolphin, he is breaking out of the facility and also running away from the police. When he speaks to that lobster in the grocery store, it was right after he got raped by that random lady. We see him start to talk to an octopus when his wife just wasn't doing it for him in the bedroom. We see him speak to Timothy the octopus while he is being forced to eat him. And the first time we hear Ambrosius speak is right after Homelander made the Deep eliminate those Homelander supporters with a bat. It's almost as if the Deep has developed this coping mechanism to deal with stressful situations. Also notice how as soon as the Deep actually thought that Sage liked him, he immediately moved on from Ambrosius. He started neglecting her. He stopped cleaning her cage. And instead of listening to Ambrosius, aka his inner thoughts, he decided to completely shut her out. This is also when we see the Deep completely turn over to the dark side. He even told Homelander that he's down to eliminate all sea life if he tells him to. This even creeped out Homelander, which is really saying something. Some more evidence, listen to how the Deep speaks about swimming in the Mariana Trench while he is intoxicated. I think water's supposed to be fun. Try swimming in the Mariana Trench, you little f idiots. Yeah, not so fun now. No, it's dark and it's cold. And you're so alone. You're so goddamn alone. I found this interesting because although it's true that the deeper you go in the ocean, the less sea life there is, there are still creatures down there. So him saying he was so alone while he was in this vulnerable state makes me raise an eyebrow. Now these last points I want to make are kind of nitpicky, but still valid. Notice how when the deep has these in-depth conversations with these animals, he always singles one out and they always have English names. Timothy the octopus was even praying, implying he might be religious. All of that is very coincidental to say the least.